Hey, what's up guys? Fabio here once again, and I want to welcome everybody back to another video. And today I'm going to be doing another paid request and another music request. So again, I'm loving uh, the, the fact that more recently we've been getting a lot of music stuff here on the channel, uh, which is always good, always good to do. And this is coming from Joseph, who is a longtime viewer, but a first time paid request and he wanted me to do a uh, reaction to the music video uh, Three Little Pigs by Green Jelly which I have definitely heard this song before I'm pretty sure I've seen the video before uh, but what the hell we're going to do it anyway and what is nice um, Joseph wrote again in the notes first time Sending in a paid request, long-time viewer. Thank you for all the great content. I appreciate it. Well, it says Joe. 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 Joseph. Either way. Tomato, tomato. Um, but, uh, yeah, he wanted me to do this. Cool. Can't complain. Um, before we jump into this, uh, as always, if anyone else would like to send in a paid request, you may do so down below in the description box. Um no amount is too big, no amount is too small. Just, you know, think about it before you send it in. Think smart, please. Um, it does not have to be just a movie review. It could be a TV series, cartoon, comic book, video game, music, random thoughts, rant streams, commentaries, and anything in between. That's what the paid request is there for. So again, um, if anyone is interested, go ahead, send it in. I'll get to it as soon as I possibly can. For those of you that have sent them in before, thank you. Greatly appreciate it. It means you guys actually care about what I say and do here on the channel. You want to see me try some different things. It does motivate me to keep wanting to make videos, so it's a win-win for everybody. You guys get more of the type of videos that you want to see me cover here on the channel. I keep making them, and at the end of the day, everybody goes home happy, just like they used to say at Blockbuster. So, thank you. Uh, but before we get this rolling, Green Jelly is a band that I, I do know. They actually did all the music for the Maximum Carnage video game back in the day for Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis. And they were more of a, of a comedy band. They were more of a goof band. But they are really interesting because it really worked for them. People really dug it. People really got into it. Uh, Danny Carey from Tool actually was in this band before he was in Tool, but he used uh, 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 a pseudonym like all the other members of the band. And they were called they were called Green Jello, but then they got sued. Um, actually, when this song came out, they were still called Green Jello, and then uh, Kraft sued them, so then they changed it to Green Jelly. Um, but they still are around in some way, shape, or form. They're still out there doing their thing, which is cool. Um, I do remember it's on the sidebar here. Uh, Serial Killer, uh, that album and song that came out that was really funny. And, uh, of course, I remember this, Three Little Pigs. But let's go ahead and get this going. Um, as always, I will include the link down below in the description box. Obviously, I can't put this in the corner of the video because um, <laughs> green jelly will sue me and then jello will sue me <laughs> so we can't be having uh, none of that but all you got to do if uh, if you want to check it out yourself just type in green jelly three little pigs it'll come up um, but uh, I'm pretty sure most of you have probably heard this song or seen this video before but hey that's why I like doing this but we'll get this going in three two one one pressing play but I love <laughs> I love that it's animated and it's in claymation <laughs> pigtails <laughs> bad The guy that did this video was the same guy that did the video uh, sober for Tool. I'm 
was just checking the microphone because it looked like the levels were a little too high, but it's okay. I shouldn't be yelling, I guess. I don't know. And this, yeah, back in the day, this was a big hit. This song and this video, this was all over MTV back in the day. Um, I think Headbangers Ball played it a lot. Chin chin chin. I haven't heard this in forever. <laughs> he was like jerking off the guitar. But today, if you did this, if you tried to make something claymation or whatever, these fucking kids wouldn't get it. These kids don't know nothing about music. They wouldn't understand this. Why does it look like that? It looks really cheap. Why, why do they do that? Why are there pigs smoking weed? What is this? Shut up. The hair on my chinny chin chin. Pig, little pig, let me hear. Les Claypool does some of the voices in this, which I love. Huffing and puffing, I blow your house in. If I ever have kids, uh, this is the version of the three little pigs that they will know. <laughs> you got big bad wolves smoking joints. Name Pig Newton. Hey, little pig, let me in. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. <laughs> Yep, I, re I've, I remember this song. I haven't heard it in forever. Blow your house down. Huffing, puffing. I'll pull your house down. Or in, sorry. They called 9-11 like every piggy would. John Rambo. Yo, Wolfie. <laughs> I forgot. But they got Claymation Rambo shooting up the wolf. I love it. It's like celebrity. This is kind of like celebrity deathmatch before celebrity deathmatch. I wonder if they're touring. I I can't imagine what their concerts would be like. I'm sure they're a lot of fun. <laughs> Say, nothing, little pig, let me in. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. <laughs> And I think this might have been on Beavis and Butthead back in the day. Maybe. 
And the moral of the story is that bands with no talent can easily amuse idiots with a stupid puppet show. <laughs> Damn right. That, that's awesome. That The song is awesome and the video is even better. Um, just out of curiosity. The com the comment section's great on this one. the f The fact that Man Manor James Keenan sings "Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin." There you go. <laughs> Grandkids, what music did you listen to as a kid? Me. Why don't you just sit back and I will tell you a tale. <laughs> I love it. And again, um. If I ever have kids, that's the this is the version of the Three Little Pigs that they will know and they will like it, and they're not gonna have a fucking choice. Um, let me see something quick here. I could have, I, I think they had this on Beavis and Butthead back in the day, if I'm not mistaken. And of course, yeah, Danny Carey and. Um, Maynard James Keenan from Tool were in the band at one point. Excuse me. Yeah, I got plenty of time. They had a... The song, uh, the Bear song was in Dumb and Dumber. Um, yeah, they did the Maximum Carnage soundtrack, which was awesome. But yeah, they were, they were cool. They were a cool band. They were fun. I'm not seeing... Let me see if it's... Because you can't click on the song. Or no, you can. It's just it didn't have a link. Where I thought it was going to. Um, t -t 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 Cause again, I could have sworn that this was on Beavis and Butthead. Because this came out in 93. Which is the same year that Beavis and Butthead started. Um, you could only buy it on VHS back in the day. There was no CD in the beginning. Uh, later on, they released a CD. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah, Pauly Shore does one of the voices. Uh, Les Claypool does one of the voices, which is awesome. Danny Carey plays drums, who is an amazing drummer, even though I'm not a huge Tool fan. Um... I'm not seeing it on their Wikipedia. I'm just I, again, I, I could have sworn that they had it on Beavis and Butthead. Maybe they didn't. I don't know. And then the other thing I wanted to check is. Just while we're doing this for fun, let me see if the how much the original version goes for, where it says Green Jello. Because like I said, when the album first came out, it said Green Jello, and then they got sued, or they were about to get sued. So it's like, no, you need to fucking change that. Which, come on, it's a parody. Actually, I'm looking now. The original vinyl release, it says Green Jelly. It does not say Green Jello, which blows, but I'm sure. Let me see if the, the CD has it. Yeah, you can get it on CD, and it says Green Jello. It's actually not expensive. Wow, I figured it'd kind of be a little pricey. No, you can get a um, a near mint copy on Discogs for twenty three bucks. That's not bad at all. I definitely would like to get that. It just as a novelty. Um, yeah, there there is a version that says Green Jello, and it has the the Ulmets, like in Motorhead at the top of the O in there, which is fucking cool. But yeah, they were, you know, I, I do remember these guys a little bit, mostly because of the Maximum Carnage and this song, but it's good stuff. Again, they they were very good at what they did, 
and people really liked it and it stuck out and the other thing I wanted to check is are they still doing shows or not and their uh, their website is uh, or at one point it was no it's still around uh, green jello sucks live that's awesome was there old well this is outdated but yeah, do they do they still tour? Got plenty of time. I'm just checking the the battery, but I just just out of curiosity while we're doing this. I don't know if this website's going to work. Maybe they got it on there. Well, apparently, according to their Facebook, uh, it says now booking for tours. So I guess they're they're still out there doing some shows. That's cool. Um, I'd love to. I'd love to go see them. <laughs> I definitely would love to go see this group. Yeah, they got like anim people dressed up and hitting each other with pool noodle. I'm in. Like uh, this sounds like my kind of thing. <laughs> That's cool. Let me see if uh, you can click on events on their Facebook. And they have tour dates. Um, it doesn't look like anything near here, but I'd have to look a little, little deeper, I suppose. But yeah, I definitely would like to check these guys out. Maybe let me see if Green Jelly Tour. Let me see if we can. Google that quickly. Yeah, nothing so far near here. Um, the closest is Ohio. Oh, Pittsburgh in May. Maybe that'd be that'd be worth a worth a drive. Me, whatever. That's Pittsburgh. I mean, that's couple months away. I may, I can probably make that happen. Well, actually, no, I'll, I'll be away. Okay. Oh, well. Oh, well. I'm sure they'll do more tours. But this is this was cool. Again, I really like this. I, like I said, I had seen and heard this before, but it doesn't matter. This is all part of the fun of why I do this. But anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And if they're coming to a town near you, check them out. So there you go. But anyway, we'll talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye. If I can get out of the chair without possibly dying. Anyway, later.